Hi, fourth grade. I hope you didn't have too hard of a time getting the cover on your book last week. As I promised, this week we're gonna start filling the inside of your book. And like I mentioned last week too, this book is gonna be all about you. So if you didn't get a chance already, we're gonna work on the cover, we're gonna work on the inside, and you're gonna have a nice little book that I think you'll be really proud of. So grab your origami book from last week, grab yourself a pencil, maybe some a very thin Sharpie and some colored pencils or some very thin markers. Because of the size of the book, crayons and bigger markers aren't gonna work well but we're gonna probably wanna add some color to the inside. So grab those things and I'll show you what we're gonna do to finish our little book. So right now your book, depending on what color you picked for the cover, looks something like this. I did mention at the end of the video last week that this book was gonna be all about you and all about your likes, all about your interests. So if you don't have anything on the cover already, put something on the cover that tells people it's about you. I did one that just says all about me. Maybe you wanna do all about and your name or just your name, whatever you wanna call your book since it's gonna be all about you. Then inside your book, if you can't guess already, on each page you're gonna put something about you. So different things, your favorite color, your birthday, your favorite animal, what you like to do, your hobbies, your favorite video game character. It can be anything about you. So on the very first page, if you're gonna put your birthday, put something like that. Do something that just introduces yourself. I'm not gonna give you my birthday, but you get the idea. So maybe I'll put And this is gonna be a combination of words and drawings. So my birthday is in March, and I'll even give you the number. March 4th. And maybe since it's in March, I'll draw a little clover. For right now, we're just gonna draw in pencil. And then as we go along, you can go back and add some color because depending on what you add, you're gonna wanna add some color. I might even go over some of this with some Sharpie just to make it show up a little bit better. On the next page, things you like to do, your favorite color. And like I said, this is gonna be a combination of words and drawings. So my favorite color. And I'm just gonna make kind of like a paint blob shape. And then with marker, I'm gonna go back in and I'll color the paint blob to show my favorite color. Whoops, I skipped a page. I things you like to do. So even if you write things, also try to draw a little picture that goes with it. So I like to read. So I'm gonna draw a book. Um, let's see here. gonna write a little title on here and you're just gonna keep going filling each page maybe with a little title about what's on the page or even just a drawing I'll go to the next one with something I like to do Maybe I'll make a big pan here. I'm just gonna make it look like an egg in the pan. So it doesn't have to be really complicated drawings, especially with the size of our pages, we can't get too detailed. But just something that shows what you're talking about to the best of its ability. Pick the best icon or the best picture that's gonna really show what you're trying 
to convey, what your favorite thing is, your favorite character, whatever it might be. Once you have all the pages filled with different things about you, this is where I would take your Sharpie or thin black pen if you don't have a thin Sharpie and just trace over things. Because pencil is gonna smudge as you go through your book. Whereas if you trace it with a pen or a Sharpie, it's not going to smudge and disappear quite as easily. And then just like we usually do, after you're done tracing with the marker, the pen, whatever it might be, take your eraser and erase those pencil marks because this is a book and we want it to look the best that it possibly can and be nice and clean, not sloppy. And once you have it traced with Sharpie, you can also go back and add some color. Color things in. And you'll just go to the next page and do the same thing all throughout the book until you have a nice little book about yourself. So fourth grade, I really hoped you like making this little book about you. I thought it was a great way to just add a little bit of drawing with a little bit of writing and a little bit of origami. On the page with this week's assignment in that folder, I have a list of ideas of things that you can put in your book because I know sometimes it's hard to think about yourself when you already know yourself the better than anyone else could. So I gave a list of ideas of things that you might want to include in your book but feel free to add others that I don't have on the list. Remember there might be things that I don't know about you that maybe you want to put in this book. Try and fill every page up and I bet if you show this to an adult in your house they're going to really enjoy it. Have a great week. I will see you next week with a brand new project that I think you're also going to like and I'll be back soon. Have a great week, guys. See you soon.